Hey guys, this is Salim and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Android 9, Android Pie on our Lenovo P2. That's this choice right here. So let's get started. Now, how can you flash Android 9 on a device? Because the first time it's launched, it was in November 2016. That's like two years from now. And it only had Android 7.0. Android 8.0, that's Android Oreo, didn't even come to this, this device. So what's changed now, the developer of Lineage OS, that's Mike, I don't know his full name, gave us unofficial treble support for our P2. So if you don't know what treble is, there's a card right here. I made a dedicated video on that for treble, for GSI. What's GSI? What's treble? Uh, do check out that video a card will be there and a link of that will be in the description below so yeah so this is all because of gsi so because of treble we can flash multiple gsi images not multiple one at a time so we can do that and taste android 9.0 yeah before starting i'm assuming that you must know how to unlock your bootloader and flash gwrp on a device on your device so if you don't know how to do that a card is up top here somewhere and a link of that video will be in the description below now let's boot into recovery so to boot to go into recovery just press the two volume buttons and the power button at the same time as soon as the power logo comes up just release all the buttons so twrp has booted up so before proceeding further i want to let you know that this procedure will wipe all your data so proceed with caution and if you haven't taken a backup go ahead and take a backup either of your whole rom or just of your internal storage and i'm assuming you have done that so i'll just go to wipe i'll first click on format data this is done because whenever i boot a custom rom or any rom for that matter it encrypts your data most probably it will encrypt your data and if your data is encrypted that android 9 gsi won't work so i'll go to format data i'll type in yes I'll press this check mark. So mine is already doing stuff. And if you are getting an error, just go to reboot and recovery. That's it. So after I have done it and then perform format data. So after I've done it, uh, go to wipe, advanced wipe, the Alvex system data internal storage cache. And it's formatting now, it's done. Now I'll reboot again to recovery. It will show me a message that no OS is installed. Are you sure you wish to reboot? Yes, I'll swipe to reboot and it will reboot back into TWRP. So here we are. Click on install. So you, I'll select my micro SD card because all my files are present there. So I'll click on that. I have made a folder of it. So all the required files that I will be flashing in this video will be in the description below. I'll make a separate zip for it or I'll provide separate links for it for the official links and the list of GSI images that are available right now. So yeah, first of all, we need to flash TWRP that supports Treble. So for that, I'll, I've given the file in the description below. Just go to that, just go to install and go to that directory click on install image that's right here and just click on this treble twrp click on that choose recovery swipe to confirm and it's done now after you've done that just go back back reboot and recovery again so it's again says no no os installed so that's fine we'll reboot to twrp again and we'll proceed further so I'm assuming that you have copied all your file, all the files that I've given in the description below. So now go to install. So I'm already in that directory. I'll click on this file, lineage OS 15.1, something, something, nightly Kunatu signed zip. So Kunatu is our device name. I'll click on that. I'll click on swipe to flash. So I want to let you know that the thing that I'm flashing, I'll flash a system image over it. I'll show you how to do that. So. I'll not flash gaps with it or Google Apps because the image that I will be flashing later already has Google Apps on it. So yeah, I'll not flash Google Apps now because no need, it, the image already has one. In case you download a GSI image or system image and it doesn't have Google Apps on it, 
I'll provide a specific link for Google Apps, unofficial Google Apps in the description below if you want to try that. I'll make a separate video of that if you want that. Do let me know in the comments below. Now as you see it's patching window image. Let it do that. Okay. I'll I just wipe dial wick and cache. So I'll go back. I'll go back. So yeah, we are on this page. So I'll click on install image again because I have copied all my GSI generic system images here. So I'll click on install image. So the image that I'll be flashing today is Pixel Experience P ARM 64A only. Now do remember guys that our device only supports A only partition, not A B partition. If you flash A B partition, there's a chance that you'll break your device. So yeah, proceed with caution only flash. Use the files that I'm linking in the description below or flash files that has a only partition so not a b just a so i'll flash pixel experience i'll click on system image i'll swipe to confirm this might take some seconds maybe one or two minutes so we'll wait patiently so yeah our system is flashed now we need to root our device now why am i rooting my device because there's no need for rooting a device i'll let you know later on why am i rooting this device rooting my device or this device now i'll also provide this zip in the description below the magic 16.6 because that's the latest one i think which supports treble so yeah click on it and swiping to flash so it's done we'll wipe dalvik and cache just to be on the safer side that's everything is wiped now we'll click on reboot system and wait for the magic to happen. So as you can see the Google logo appeared. This is the official Google logo for the Pixel devices. As you can see the boot animation. It looks pretty dope in my opinion. Now we'll wait a few seconds. Maybe a few minutes. Yeah, it reboots once more. No need to worry, it reboots. So as you can see, it has booted up. So I'll just set it up for the basic part. I'll select, a la just select a language. Don't choose anything else because it doesn't have navigation keys as of now. So if you click on version settings or emergency call, you will get stuck. So I'll click on start. So yeah, this is Android 9 Pi. So I'll go to settings. So first of all, let's look at what's new here. So your digital well-being that was advertised by Google is there is here. Specific PHS treble settings are here in which you can choose some Samsung features, some DOS features, and some miscellaneous features like signal meter method. So basically, it's the way how you display network bars around here. Yeah, I'll not go in detail with that. If you want to know more about that, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to make a video on that too. The different signal met meter methods. Okay, I'll go to back, back. Now let's look at system and about phone. So it will say PHH, F, P, something like that, treble vanilla. You can change this device name. I'll leave it as it is. If you want to change, you can. So if you see the Android version here is Android 9. If you click on it, it's Android 9. So if you see the build number, it's an unofficial build because official GSI images have some issues right now. And this image also has some issues like Volte issues. The only issue that I noticed is Volte E issue. And I am my primary SIM or my secondary SIM doesn't support Volte as of now. So no issues for me. Okay. And if we just hold android version here so you get that easter egg if you can play with it quite trippy in my opinion so as you can see we do not have any back key right now i'll just press the home button and home button works so yeah that's that now i hope that you must have set up your device and if you have just go to the play store and download build prop editor install this i'll just click on open and and upload times can be a bit tricky in that just granted permissions click on this icon the pencil one edit it just click on here click on anywhere and type in q e m u that's q e m u dot h w s w dot 
main keys is equal to zero. That's Q E M U dot H W dot main keys M A I N K E Y S is equal to zero. Now click on this icon, the floppy one. That will save it and save it. Now all you gotta do is hold on the power button and restart the device. So yeah, we we have built it up. Now as you can see, we have got navigation keys. So that's the only reason I rooted because I have no issues with. um non rooted devices it's just that navigation keys were not present here now the best great thing about the navigation key here is that animation the pixel nav bar animation now if you can if you see that this is a normal swipe up now if you want to get that android 9 type swipe android 9 swipe up so that's an extra features we'll go to system we'll go to gestures we'll go to swipe up on home button we'll click on this we'll click on enable it now as you can see it changes to a pill so clicking it will get our nav bar animation but if you pull up hip from here so all our recent apps will be shown here and if you pull up again we'll get to a app drawer so that's a nifty feature in my opinion so yeah i know this video has been long it might not be that long on your on the video timeline because on the video time then it will be quite less but if i am seeing here it's now 27 minutes so yeah it took me quite a lot of time to make it i hope you guys watch it till the end and this is the best way the easiest way or you can say a new friendly way a layman friendly way to install android 9 on our lenovo p2 the only issues that i have read that red is it does not have volti support right now So yeah, I'm okay with that because I don't use Volte SIM cards right now, and that's that. I you have to root a device that I've told earlier, and yeah, this is how you install Android Nine on your Lenovo P2. If you found this video helpful, do hit the like button, share it with your friends so that they also come to know how to install Android Nine on their Lenovo devices. Comment for any queries regarding this or anything regarding tech, or if you want to see more videos related to. the gsi that i have just flashed different versions of gsi images and since you're commenting subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thanks a lot for watching this is salim and i'll talk to you in the next one